and welcome back to Let's Play Spirit Fair. All right, let's get moving. So I need to start getting some materials here, start upgrading some houses. But while we're waiting, let's go see if we can get ourselves that lamp upgrade so we can start passing through fog banks. Also, I think we're going to be passing through a storm relatively soon, so you know what? I'm going to let the rain water my crops for me. All right, so what do we need to actually get house, or get house upgrades? What upgrades do we actually need? So for Gustav, we need to get ourselves a steel sheet. This one should be pretty easy to make. Steel is relatively simple. Whoops, this is fine. Yeah, the one thing I do wish about this game is that I wish they had a bit more feedback for some of these mini games. Like, it's hard to tell if I'm doing it right. Alright, so what else do we need? We need... I think we need some crystal glass sheets for, uh, Bruce and Mickey. Oh, wait, no, we need brass sheets for Bruce and Mickey's house. Also, I need zinc. I need a lot of zinc, actually. Let me get some zinc going. Fortunately, we have a ton of zinc ore. Also, I'm just gonna stick a ton of coal in there for now. Because we're going to need to do this like three or four times to get enough zinc. Because I need, what, ten zinc ingots for Gustav's house. And then I need a bunch of zinc ingots to make... Actually, no, I think I only need like three rounds of this. I mean, it's always good to have extra zinc, just in case. At this point, zinc is pretty much the basic building block of everything. Like, eventually we're actually going to get gold, but there's actually not a ton of stuff in this game that requires gold. Alright, let's do this one more time. Oh, I think we're arrived. Oh, yeah, we have arrived. One minute. Uh, let me finish this up and then we'll go make landfall. I'm gonna stick a lamp to the front of my boat so we can pass through fog. And then after that, I think the only other upgrades we can get for the boat are A, size, and B, like, speed. Actually, a speed upgrade wouldn't be bad, but I don't remember what we need to get a speed upgrade. I mean, we'll see in, like, in a minute. There we go. Also, you know what? We have the zinc right now. I'm going to do this before we accidentally use it on something else. Actually, wait a second. I didn't accidentally use anything I needed, right? Nope, we're good. Alright, so let's get uh, Gustav his neoclassical Nordic fireplace. A thing that makes rooms colder. Although apparently, like with real fireplaces, it does actually make the rest of the house colder because it draws in all the heat from surrounding rooms to warm up one room. At least that's what I've heard. I don't know a ton about fireplaces. Oh, crap. Uh, one second, I can fix this. You want some... Where's my exotic stuff? You want some southern boil? Uh-huh. Oh, wait, no, you won't need anything fried. Fine. Uh... Do you want... What else do I have that's exotic? you want some fish curry? Yep, there we go. Also, yeah, your room is looking quite nice now. Alright. Hey, uh... Stan wait, one second. Gustav needs something. Oh, nope, just free stuff. So, uh, Stanley, you feeling better yet? No, not that. Oh, Poor Stanley. It always sucks when little kids get discouraged like that. Like, he has a talent for it, kind of. It's just that he has no idea what he's doing yet. He'll get over it. <laughs> Anyways. Just put a lamp on my boat. Alright, yeah, everything else is just to make the uh, boat go faster. Yeah, we don't have gold and we don't have pine yet, so we can't do that. I forget exactly how we get- Oh wait, no, I think I remember how we get EXP potions. 
I think we get th those uh, through Buck. I think. Also, yeah, we have a bunch of boat upgrades. We actually, honestly, we don't really need that many boat upgrades in terms of size. I'm pretty sure we can actually fit most things on our current boat. After a while, you just have a lot of empty space on the boat because there aren't enough buildings to fill up the colossal one unless you build, like, 50 orchards or something. Okay, maybe not that many. Also, you need a hug. All right, fine. I'll get you your house eventually. Now that we have uh, the lamp upgrade, we can pass through fog banks. And now that we can do that, we can actually get the materials we need to get Buck a house. So he can finally stop sleeping on deck. I really should have built him a guest room. Honestly, I really should just build a second guest room at this point. I don't think it's actually technically needed. You know what? Screw it. Any new guests can just sleep on the deck until I get them a house. It's fine. But yep, we now have a string of lamps on our boat. Alright, so where are we heading to next? Here, I don't want to water my crops. Let's just go park ourselves in like a thunderstorm or something. Because that's the reasonable way to take care of your crops, right? Also, yeah, I still think there's a sheep out there that we missed. I forget exactly like that. I forget exactly how many sheep there are in the game. I want to say five or six. All right, so what do we need now? Uh, I guess the next thing we need to work on is to upgrade uh, Bruce and Mickey's house. And to do that, we're gonna need a lot of different sheets. So let me see here. We need one bronze, two crystal glass. Two crystal glass, brass, uh, let's see here, two crystal, or two clear glass, silver, and silk. Okay. So basically, just make a ton of sheets and hope for the best. Got it. Oh, I should also smelt some more silver, too. Alright, here. Let's see here. I need zinc for that. We do need one more bronze, I believe. So we'll make that real quick. Also, I'm hoping we can get to the thunderstorm before... No nope. Here, you know what? I'm going to go to bed so we can keep moving. We don't need to idle here overnight. That's also not my bed. There we go. Alright, let's get moving again. I want to catch the uh, thunderstorm so I can water my crops. Oh hey, we can get more wool. Do I even need wool at this point? Not really. Also, how are you doing? Feels bullied by Mickey and still needs a home. One day I'll get you a house. Also, wait a sec. Oh, I thought I had something in the cellar. Never mind. Uh, we got more eggs. Can I get any more chickens, actually? I think I can get one more chick- Oh, wait, no, no, I think we're full on chickens now. Yeah, I don't think we can get any more chickens. Oh, wait, one second. Alright, we're here. I got my water for my, uh, crops. Let's get moving again. Actually, we're not that far away from a fog wall. Uh, we could go explore the new area that we've unlocked. You know what? Let's go exploring a bit. There's an island right here we haven't been to yet. So yes, yeah, so far the themes of the areas we've been to are... Like, standard European, I guess, in the main area. Uh, kind of Nordic in the northwestern area. Kind of metropolitan in the southeast. Now we get to see what the northeast is like. Like, yeah, every single region has their own, like, specific theme. Honestly, I think I like the metropolitan area the best. 
This next area is pretty, but really, really annoying to navigate. Alright, what else can we make here? I need... Okay, yeah, at this point, I just need a ton of zinc. All the different sheets I need need zinc. Whoops. No, get back on the boat. The boat can't go without me. Literally, it cannot move without me on board. Oh, you know what? Wait, before we do this... I want to see the upcoming fog bank. Actually, wait, how far away are we from the fog bank? One second. I need to go tell Atul's house no. Actually, can I just force it to go? No, I have to say no to his door. I really wish there was a way to opt out of these, not have to do this every single time. No. We are not collecting lightning right now. We don't need it. But yeah, I want to see the upcoming fog bank. I really think the fog area looks cool in terms of, like, the actual water area, or the actual, like, surroundings. I just don't really like navigating the islands. Alright, we should be there soon. Also, yeah, once we get some materials, we might upgrade the boat speed a bit. It'd be go to go it'd be good to go faster. Also, is everyone awake yet? I did ring the bell, right? Pretty sure everyone's awake. I just can't- oh wait, here we go. Welcome to the fog area. So unlike the other areas, the fog is just kind of always present around here. Even if we're not like in the barrier itself. I, I really like the look of foggy days. I think it looks cool. And creepy. Anyways, so the theme of this area is forest. We're going to be doing a lot of climbing and bouncing in this area. Because that's pretty much how we navigate every single island. Also, I already see a mining spot, some trees we can cut down. It's going to be weird exploring islands without both Astrid and a tool. Like, they were always my buddies when I made Landfall because they would collect stuff for me. But now, it's just going to be us and Daffodil. Um. Well, yeah. Hmm, this had to come eventually. Stanley's is pretty heartbreaking, even compared to everyone else. You know what? We'll explore this area later. This is something we just have to do right now. I can take the bus back here. Let's just head over to the Everdoor. Actually, wait, what am I doing? Let's go to the bus stop and then take that to the Everdoor. But yeah, we had to say goodbye to Stanley eventually. Where is he? You know what? One last time. Let's make him his favorite. Oh, do I have his favorite? I don't have his favorite yet. One second. Stanley, before you go. Let's make him his favorite french fries. So that would be oil and potatoes. This is going to take a little while to cook. It's fine. He can wait. He's not in a super big hurry. Oh, give me a hug. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's move the boat real quick. God, this looks so weird in the fog. Alright, so how much longer until the french fries are ready? 
I don't want to get too close to the every door, then we won't be able to feed Stanley. I want to give him one, like, last nice meal before he goes. Kind of wish I had done that with everyone now. Oh well. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to wait for those french fries to be ready. You're fine. They always complain when they just get a little bit hungry. Like, you still have two stages of hunger to go through before you're starving. But fine. Uh, do you want... Oh god. What will happen if I try to feed you this? Okay, fine. Uh, have some egg salad then, I guess. Oh, you know what? I just remembered something. How, do we actually have anything in the uh, cellar right now? No, we don't. I should fix that. Let's get some yogurt made. There we go. Yeah, now I kind of regret not feeding everyone their favorite dish before they go to the Everdoor. I just feel like Stanley needs it. Alright. Well, time to go. Also, yeah, I want these trees to grow, so we might as well water them ourselves. I feel like rain doesn't last as long as normal watering. It might just be me. Oh. Alright, water's red. We're almost there. Oh, here we are. Yep, let's go, Stanley. Also, this time we're actually going to wait for him to get on the boat before we go. Because technically we don't need to wait. We can actually launch right now if we wanted to, but... Yeah, let's actually wait for him to get here. Everyone's here to say goodbye. Her passenger list is just getting smaller and smaller every day. We haven't actually recruited anyone new for a while. One second. Hmm.
God, Stanley's... Stanley is definitely the most heartbreaking for me. It's time to say goodbye to our little friend. But yeah, in terms of how Stanley died, it's pretty clear with him. He had some type of probably genetic disease as a little kid, and he died pretty young. Sounds like he got along well with his dad, but his mom probably had pr trouble dealing with it. And we get his spirit flower. It's a mushroom, just like him. Man, but Stanley honestly is probably the most tragic out of all of them. Especially considering he was literally like 8 or 9 probably based on his behavior. Also, hey Gustav. Uh -huh. I like to think that Stanley left behind his clock design. Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh -huh. Well, uh, we need to make Gustav a clock then. But I think we'll do that next. Actually, you know what? One second. What do I need to make that clock? Do I actually have the materials I need already? I think I need gold for this, actually. Uh, where is Gustav's house? Okay, no, I need gold, crystal, glass, and... Okay, I just need a bunch of gold, apparently. Alright. We'll worry about making that next time, though. So, next time on Let's Play Spirit Fair, we're gonna start exploring some of those foggy areas. And start getting some materials together for some uh, new stuff. So, till then. <laughs>